All right, so I know there's not really an intro to this video because I kind of forgot, but this is kind of important because I'm running out of wood. Okay, actually I'm not. I literally just cut down my old spruce tree farm, so I have quite a bit. But we're in less than we have less than a thousand in every single wood type, so which is not good. So we're gonna do the fully auto tree farm today. So we're not we're not really gonna mess around. Oh, we need more. Actually, we need more of this. Okay. So. Um. I'm stack iron ingots. So if I just do saw. And boom, we no longer need more of those. <coughs> So, here's my plan. We're just gonna, again, go over to our little testing area. My plan is to make it kind of semi-automatic. Or not semi, no, fully, fully automatic, but like, not rotational-wise and stuff. So it's... A lot less moving parts, I guess. Stop it. Stop being farmland. I've always, I haven't been over in this area in a while. This is from when I did my planting thing. It's because those are source blocks. Anyways. So here's my plan. So f we're going to have like the... The four wide trees, so like spruce jungle dark oak and then we need more hands where are our hands we don't have any hands we're out of hands <sighs> okay i guess i gotta make more brass i'll be back so while that's going we uh let's see just for example, we're just going to have these fluid pipes be the deployers. So deployers reach over a span of one block. So these are made of the deployers and they're going, going to be given a specific sapling. So we're only going to need one of each. And then so for example, I don't know what what kind of looks like what kind of looks like a sapling. I don't sure. Why not? So the this one's gonna place one here. This one's gonna place one here. This one, and I, uh, so on and so forth. So this is a giant spruce tree. Just just imagine. So these will all be spinning with uh, the force. Uh, like Skywalker. No, not really, but. They're all going to be doing that. Deployers are in the same way. Yeah, so deployers would be powered from the side. Which actually, we can use chain drives. So, That way, everything moves the same way. So, basically, you spin this one, and they all spin. They all spin the same way. So it's basically like that, the the belt, but now it's a block. So this will do the exact same thing that that one does, does, and then it'll cut down the tree. I don't know how it will work when it comes to like actually harvesting the tree. So let's uh let me go get a um don't that's a failed part uh a sapling. All right, so pretend this just placed that tree there, and there's four of them, and then when it grows, this is a four wide four by four spruce thing. 
Um, how are we gonna get power here? Let's see. It doesn't actually matter which way it spins. At least not in this point in time. Oh, that's right. That's running the belt down there. Again, this is just experiments. So actually what we want is one of these gearboxes. Boom. 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 So where do you go? On the ground. Okay. Now, if there was a chest nearby, where would you go then? <sighs> I just stole some from the machine. Now where would you go? Still on the ground, okay. Just curious. Okay. So now, hmm, maybe this is why it's always a mechanical contraption. Let me figure this out. Okay, I figured it out. Figured it out, figured it out, figured it out. Um, we're going to use a mechanical piston. Which I don't actually, I don't think I've actually made one of those yet. And it should be alright because... So long as I get it kind of, you know what, we'll just show you. We, I will. No one else is here. I have no friends on this world. So, basically, a mechanical piston works like a regular piston, except for you can extend it however long you want. So, in theory, uh, if I get those to grow, which I actually forgot the bone meal. Alright, so, I just screwed it, it doesn't really matter. So, a mechanical piston works kind of like this. I think. Do I not understand it? Hmm. I think it's going the wrong way. So in order to change that, we just need a gearbox. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I learned something. And that is a good thing. So what I learned is that this pushes wood out of the way <laughs> which is news to me so I put the storage interface there with the chest behind it I move the storage interface here and what we need is on a timer a Not a bearing. Uh, maybe it is a bearing. No, it's a crafter. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So what we need is a sequenced gear shift. So we're gonna need one for each uh, wood type. So basically, that's what I use for my door. Um, I'll just show you really quick. So with it, you can make it do specific things. So, you have this, and then it's going to shut. After three seconds, it should. Yeah, so after three seconds, it shuts. It opens 90 degrees, waits three seconds, and then closes uh, 90 degrees. So, let me just grab, 
Not quite that many. Let's just grab eight for now. Eight seems like a good number. Uh, and then eight of these small little cogwheely guys. All right, and we just shove them in a crack deep. So, now if we go back, again, here's that opening. One, two, three, close. I waited a little bit because it wasn't fully closed. When you hear that clink, that means it's closed. Or the clunk, actually, I guess is what it is. So basically, this allows you to go like this. Um, so you right click it, it's going to turn Three sixty. It is going to wait, and then it is going to turn the other way, three hundred sixty degrees. So, and then when you power it with something I don't have, can I make a button out of this? Button, button. Copper button. No. Okay. Um. Hmm. What can I use to give it red zone to? Nothing. Gosh dang it. All right. So maybe I should grow this again, just as a proof of concept. Um. And then actually I have to glue the rest of these together. So Alright. So if I press this button. Oh, started the wrong way. Okay. Okay. So, let's see, we're going to get the timings figured out. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. So if I do that, we have a piston, two meters, that way. And then move by piston pulley two meters the other way. Hmm. Okay, so turn these back around. Let's do five meters. Let's see here what five meters is. Not long enough. So let's do 15, see how that works. So 15 is triple the length of time it was, which means it should be able to grab this. Yeah, okay, so 15 is good for two by twos. And then five is good for the rest. Uh, now that I think about this, we actually don't need this portable interface. We honestly probably just need like that and then a shoot into the storage system. So, goes out, waits for 50, or pushes it 15 meters, I guess, I don't know. So basically, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do the actual work off camera, even though, yeah, I don't know, you guys wanna see it off camera? I don't know. So here's my thing. So we do that, which means it's probably seven me. Oh, uh, 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 threw my mouse off the desk. Okay, so that is good for two. Uh, now that I'm actually looking at this, maybe two meters is good. 
So we're just gonna keep on refining this. Again, these are gonna be automatically placing. So I won't have to worry about um, placing these by myself. So it'll do it automatically. So it goes for 15 seconds and comes back in two. Got it. So basically, I think this is meters per second. Or no, not speed. But it's like how fast it travels, which is one meter a second, I guess. And then how long it'll be doing it for. So, which makes me wonder, is it 15 seconds? Let's, let, let's do another experiment. Um, let's count. One, one thousand, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, okay, so I don't know what it's actually counting. <laughs> I don't know what the M is. I just, I just don't know. I don't understand. Oh well, five, fifteen M is good. It's what we need. So then we need to shoot underneath this and it goes into the storage system, which actually we need to put a funnel, which in case you guys didn't know, you can put funnels on the ground, on the ground. Which I don't know why it shoots up. Nope, that's the wrong one. So if you want it to go into something, uh, shift right click it on the ground. Just thought that you guys should know. All right. Um, by the way, this is how I've been making my brass because apparently hoppers don't like working. Just put them both in there and then they just go into this thing. So that's what I've been doing. All right, uh, see you guys uh, in the next episode, I guess. Um, cause I'm actually out of time, which is kind of why I was rushing this episode. So I apologize. Uh, God bless you all and peace outro. Thank you.